Once, they were not just the centerpiece of the Trump campaign, they were the first evils out of its Pandora's box. The wall along the Mexican border and the deportation of around 11 million undocumented Americans. The starting line of this whole wretched, hateful, bigoted nightmare. What empowered the alt-right and inflamed xenophobia and imperiled something that's been fundamental to this nation since slavery ended, the idea that if you were born here, you were an American. The wall still comes up now and again, but what was that other thing? Oh well, yeah, the mass deportation. How exactly would that work? How exactly would you take 11 million people and make them, you know, leave? Especially if, and I'm going way out on a limb here, they, you know, didn't want to leave. 11 million people. 11 million people is the population of the entire state of Ohio. Three and a half percent of the population of all of us. Even now, a year and three months into this triumph of delusion and ego over reality and stuff like math and science, there is no policy nor guidance about this to be gleaned from the Trump website or from the campaign other than his surrogate Chris Christie's declaration that two to three million people would be targeted for immediate deportation and Trump's own claims that he would deport any undocumented American accused of a crime, not convicted, just accused, and of course the original plan to quote, triple the number of immigration and customs enforcement agents, but Trump's insistence that he would do it all humanely. A wildly generous estimate is there are 100,000 agents now, so we triple that to 300,000. 300,000 people to humanely round up 11 million undocumented Americans. That is 37 undocumented Americans per agent if you triple the number of agents. If somehow the whole process from finding these people to apprehending them to giving them whatever is left of due process by then to maybe an appeal to transportation to expulsion, if that only takes six months per undocumented American, it currently takes on average 18 months, if it's only six months, Trump's deportation force could humanely get the whole job done in only 19 years. Presuming that is that all the undocumented Americans cooperate and all of their friends cooperate, and their relatives cooperate, and their employers cooperate, and ordinary Americans who think it is the work of the devil to round up and expel people who risk their lives to get here and are willing to live their lives in the shadows to stay here, presuming they also cooperate when the trucks come for their friends and their neighbors. And it would still take one agent about 19 years to get his 37 undocumented Americans out of America. Now, if, say, each case required the work of three members of that 300,000-person Trump deportation force, the project would not be completed until about the year 2072. And that still assumes those who are forced out do not come back in. Now, no matter what numbers and dates are actually realistic, because there's another scenario in which Trump's ethnic cleansing, I'm sorry, I meant to say humane deportation, in which the humane deportation could be concluded by 2027, there's still one giant humane problem looming in the background. These 11 million people are not simply going to line up on a given day and march out of the country. You're gonna to have to take these people and remove them from society. Go to their homes, and for want of a better word, capture them. Capture as many people who now live in the state of Ohio and take them somewhere else until the process of expulsion from the country is complete. Is Donald Trump thinking of humanely keeping them in his hotels? No. There would have to be humane deportation centers of some kind. These would in fact be camps of some kind, and the living arrangements would necessarily be cramped, crowded, congested, confined. What is the word I'm looking for? Concentrated. That's it. The camps would be concentrated, where people would be humanely held in, you know, concentrated places, where the deportee residents were in a humane state of being concentrated, where these humane camps had the quality of concentration. Camps with concentration. And unless you want these camps with concentration to just hemorrhage money, there are going to have to be a lot of camps with concentration all around the country to make transportation easier, places to round up and humanely keep the 300,000 undocumented Americans from Dallas alone, or the 400,000 more from Houston, or the 500,000 more from New York City, more New Yorkers than live on Staten Island. You know, in camps, with concentration, 
Some of them big enough to fit the same number of people who live in Atlanta, or Kansas City, or Cleveland, or New Orleans. Now, you might not need to house all 11 million people because some of these people would kill themselves rather than go back, or they would resist the roundup and would be killed, humanely, I'm sure. Still, you'd better make the camps with concentration just a little bigger because, well, sorry, it'd be necessary just to make the process go more smoothly and more humanely, make it illegal, you know, to help or hide anybody accused of being an undocumented American. Maybe Trump would make it illegal to not turn in any undocumented Americans you knew of, and anybody guilty of one of these crimes would have to go into the camps too. You know, the camps with concentration. But don't worry, Trump intends to do it humanely. These would be humane camps with concentration. And what could possibly go wrong in them? It'll be done humanely.